What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Mega4K. You already know. And I am joined by my cousin Rick Rizzle. How you doing guys? What's up? Yeah, I mean, he's definitely supports the Omega fam to the death, baby. You already know. So he came through with the mommy van, you know what I'm saying? Because we needed some more space. These wheels were not fitting in my whip. I couldn't even get the tires, let alone the tires with the rims. Like, come on now. So he came through with the mommy van and we are taking the wheels to get the tires mounted baby so keep it locked stay tuned check it out we made it down to los primasos tire shop and i'm about to get the tires mounted Alright guys, so I couldn't snake you guys all the way through the whole entire thing. So yeah, you guys got to see which ones I picked. Leave it in the comment below. Let me know what you guys think of them. I will be taking them home, cleaning them up, and maybe getting some more B-roll shots. Probably not, because I'm going to wait till they're on the car. You already know, fam. So it'll be a couple of seconds for you, but it'll be a couple of days for me. So I'll see you on the other side, guys. so it is the following day and we have the wheels loaded in the actual tt look at this riding passenger this is the kind of stuff you got to do when you don't have the mommy van access <laughs> so we jammed them all in here because yesterday i got a little too excited i'd say a lot a bit excited and i ended up leaving the wheel place without getting the wheels balanced Duh. so basically today i am loading them on up as you can see and we are headed over to another tire shop that is open on sunday thank goodness and we are about to get them balanced and then i will be slapping them on the car however when i dry fitted them I would say in the front I had about a three millimeter gap between the actual rim and my caliper so I may run some spacers up front um, and the wheels you know they look great but they look a little bit smaller than 18s because of the step lip so they're running like a little bit on the small side for me but I think I need coils. I have a little bit of wheel gap, which you guys will see in the finished product because I'm going to show it to you guys with the wheels on. And obviously, I don't have coils just yet. Leave it in the comments below which coils you guys think I should roll with. I have been shopping around, so we shall see what we come up with together. Let's do it, Omegas. And huge shout out to you guys. Keep growing, keep spreading that love, baby. All positivity, you already know, fam. 
All right, guys, this is what my stock wheels were looking like. As you can see, they got a little bit of curb rash. All right, a lot of bit of curb rash, but we're not gonna talk about that, all right? Whatever. But boom! We got the new ones installed. And as you can see, we got hella wheel gap. So, like I said before, I'm gonna be looking into coils. And boom, as you can see, caliper clearance is a minimum but it's over three mil so i think i'm gonna test it out hopefully i don't jack them up but we shall see so that concludes the install of the new wheels baby there's only one thing actually two things left to do check it out peeling the sticker off baby the protection Whoop. So we got them all off, all the stickers are off, so it is official tissue, baby. So we about to roll that B. Check it out. <laughs>